So now I'm Neo Natives. For all of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am Avtar Simrit. Cancel culture has claimed Yogi Bhajan. Cancel culture has definitely claimed Yogi Bhajan. This all started a long time ago, actually a while ago. Um, actually, I, I mean, I even noticed some of it starting right when I first got into Kundalini Yoga. And uh, uh, there was a person who actually wrote a whole book about it, and he has a YouTube channel uh, talking about that kind of stuff. And at the time, I didn't really give it much, uh, much thought. And... I still don't really <laughs> but uh, the way I noticed that this is really just kind of uh, culminated in him really just getting canceled completely um, posthumously <laughs> I mean he's not even alive to defend himself um, was that I went to 3HO's website because there's a thing on there that I really like um, where you can calculate your uh, tantric numerology um, by putting in your birth date and stuff, right? And so I looked that up because I wanted to, to, you know, look look and do it again. Um, so, but what I thought was weird was they changed the name from tantric numerology to yogic numerology. I was like, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> You know, I'm like, it was tantric numerology before, and now they just changed it to yogic numerology. I'm like, well, what was, what's the point of that? And then I started noticing that uh, there, like, wasn't as many pictures, or basically any, of Yogi Bhajan on the 3HO website anymore. And I noticed that in the written portions, they barely even mentioned his name. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, that's kind of strange and because uh, there there was those accusations uh, well there was a lot of accusations against Yogi Bhajan anyway I don't want to go too deep into that but uh, the big thing that I wanted to talk about was I found a video where uh, this individual was actually uh, using quotes from Yogi Bhajan um, from the KRI vault. So these were actually, you know, actual real quotes from Yogi Bhajan. And so this person's thesis was that Yogi Bhajan was a racist, <laughs> which kind of was a surprise to me because I hadn't heard that one. I heard, um, you know, the accusations of, of sexual misconduct um, by Yogi Bhajan. But the whole thing about him being racist was a surprise to me. And uh, especially what they were saying was he was racist against the Punjabi Sikhs. And came as a little surprise to me too. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take a look at some of these quotes and see if there's any, you know, any substance to this argument. And so I sat through a couple listening to these quotes, you know, and I was just kind of flabbergasted by the whole thing because to me, the quotes didn't come off as racist at all. <laughs> I mean, what it was was idealist. Idealist, but not racist. Meaning that, uh, the ideas that he was putting forward were based on religious ideas and philosophical ideas. They had nothing to do with race, you know. And it seems a lot of the time that um, nowadays in the cancel culture and woke culture, idealism is lumped together with racism when it really shouldn't be <laughs> because they're completely... Two different things. I'll give you a couple examples. Um, <clears throat> say, so Christians believe in Jesus. Jews do not believe in Jesus, you know. 
but Christians use the Old Testament and the New Testament. So basically, you know, they've taken the Judaic, uh, you know, Judaism religion and expanded upon it with new ideas. Basically, that's, you know, what they did. And they have um, ideological differences, you know, mainly that Jesus was the Messiah. And, uh, and so, I don't know, there probably would be people that would make the argument that Christians are racist against Jews, but I totally disagree with that because it's about ideas, not about race, you know. I would, wouldn't say that Christians are racist against Jews. They just differ in, in what they believe is the truth. You know, that has nothing to do with race. Or, here, let me give you another example. You know, just because I disagree with a Nazi, you know, idealistically, doesn't mean that I'm racist against Germans. <laughs> so this, this whole argument to me came off as completely ridiculous, you know, because... Yes, Yogi Bhajan was an idealist. That's not, you know, a secret. You know, he had certain ideals and beliefs that he believed in 100%. And, and you know, he, he wasn't uh, shy about saying, yeah, the Sikhs have a lot of good knowledge, but it needs to be updated and expanded upon. And this is what I'm doing. Basically, that's what he was saying. He's like, you know, I'm taking the good bits of Sikhism and, and making it better in my opinion and that's not racist that's just idealism so anyway I, just, I wanted to briefly talk about that um, I don't want to go too too much into it in this video but um, what else <laughs> oh well I guess I should address a little bit about the uh, the accusations about sexual misconduct by Yogi Bhajan and I wasn't there I don't know what happened so I it's none of my business to have an opinion about it <laughs> at all I don't have an opinion one way or the other I don't know you know what happened and what didn't what was consensual if there was anything that wasn't consensual I, I have no idea but I think it's convenient that all these accusations, you know, come out after he's dead and that he can't, you know, be here to, to defend himself over, over these things. And I think a lot of the, the problems with, quote, sexual misconduct when it comes to spiritual teachers and stuff, um, um, is only an issue if people are trying to uh you know portray themselves as something they're not you know i mean if if a spiritual teacher was open and you know honest about the fact that they're a sexual human being like every human being is and that they enjoy sex and you know would be open to to being intimate you know with their followers or their peers or you know people that are learning from them I think it, it would be a much better better thing you know because then there wouldn't be any manipulation involved and there wouldn't be any um, presumptions or that kind of thing you know you would know no upfront and if someone wasn't open to that then they would just say you know I'm not open to that or they would leave and they wouldn't be part of that community <laughs> that would be so much easier I think you know a lot of these issues arrive when there's either secrecy or you know uh, people are trying to cover things up or or maintain their public image of something that's different than what they are you know behind closed doors that's the only that's when that becomes a problem you know if you're honest and open about you know what you like what you want and and what you're looking for as a human being even if you're a spiritual teacher it would it would you know get rid of a lot of these issues <laughs> you know uh don't create a false image of yourself in the first place you know um no 
nobody's pure no nobody's innocent and that's not a bad thing that's you know that's something that should just be embraced yeah you know <laughs> that's what i think but anyway i just briefly wanted to uh to chat about that a little bit and i know there will be some people that will attack me for my opinion and that's fine you know you're entitled to your opinion too and i think there should you know be an open honest discussion about this if that's even possible <laughs> but uh yeah thank you all for tuning in uh i know i was kind of rambly and all over the place but um you know if this is an important topic and i think you know people need to talk about this more uh you know i think i'll make another video about this and and uh you know kind of be more organized about it anyway <laughs> thanks for watching i am avtar simrit love you guys